So for Stoker 2, when you are using frame generation or not, the game has a lot of stutters and ton of input lag. And today we will see if we can fix or at least reduce those issues using the Stoker 2 optimization essentials by Hybrid. He did a really good job on Silent Hill 2 stutter fix mod. So let's see how this goes. Before we do the mod things, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free and that will help me a lot. So let's do this. This is a optional step. You don't have to do this. But if you hate shader compilation, go ahead and do this. These two page links will be in the video description. Let's remove this annoying shader compilation first. Go to the no shader warm up page. Make sure to create an account in here. Otherwise you can't download. Download this file and go to the second link and download the optimization essentials as well. Now we have both files. So for the no shader compilation mode to work, you need to go to the stalker2 installed location. Go to stalker2 folder. Go to content and go to packs folder. In here, make a new folder. Rename it as this symbol and mods, no spaces. Open the mods folder. Open the no shader warm up file and extract it to here. So there will be no shader compilation from now on. After that, extract the optimization essential files. Before we do the optimization steps, let's get our baseline FPS. So no more shader compilation, that's good. These are the settings I'm going to use to get the baseline FPS and I will use FSR 3 frame generation because without it I only get around 30 to 40 FPS. You can see that it takes some time to load things because we skip the shader compilation part. So give it some time. So I get around 50 to 80 FPS but this input lag is so bad and you can see my GPU and CPU usage is weird. Even if you can see my CPU usage is lower, that doesn't mean my GPU is bottlenecking the CPU. These kind of open world games are pretty CPU intensive. So more you release the pressure from the GPU, CPU needs to work even harder to catch up with the GPU. CPU is a big factor in these kind of games. So let's do the optimization steps. And before we do this, this is not a miracle mod. So don't expect your 1050 to go from 20 FPS to 100. This will help, but don't expect too much. And if you have a good GPU and a really bad CPU, you will not see much difference either. So go to the hybrid stalker to mod page and scroll down. For Steam users, you need to copy this path right here. And in the search bar, type run and paste the location right here and press OK. This is where you want to copy the optimization files. Open the extracted optimization folder. As you can see, we have 8 options. So if you have a really, I mean a really good PC, try the first option. For fun, I will try it too. For mid-range PCs, go for these. For potatoes, Try the 7th and 8th options. Let's try the 8th option first. So open the 8th folder and copy the contents to here. So this next step may lead to a out of memory error message. Not for everyone, this isn't necessary, but it will reduce its status further. So open the engine.ini file and search for system settings. In system settings section, put a space and paste this command there. And if you get the out of memory error, you can just remove the command and try again. Save and open the game.
not a huge fps difference but the input lag is noticeably reduced it's so responsive now i see one change for sure there are no reflections in the windows so those are removed and to be honest only use this if you are desperate if you have any issues you can post them on hybrid's nexus page but when giving feedback or making bug reports be as detailed as possible for example state which version of the mod you are using and what your upscaling slash anti-aliasing is those are his words not mine now let's try the balanced one the fifth option so copy the files to the same location as before and replace all three files so this one is actually pretty close to the stock game and if you see closely i get little to no fps gain from these optimizations that doesn't mean the mod is bad or it's not working mod is definitely working because the input lag is noticeably low and i have reflex enabled in the settings too there are a lot of visual improvements when you compare this with option 8 for a mid-range pc balance will be good so let's try number one the crisis okay this is definitely made for high-end pcs the visual quality is really good and this crisis option will give you less fps than the stock game So if you want to remove the modifications, go to the location that we copied the engine.ini and other files and delete them. The game will generate new ones, so you will not lose anything. So this is the best optimization that I tried and that actually worked. So yeah, big thanks to Hybrid for making this so that low-end PC players can enjoy the game. So that's it. Until next video, adios amigos. Yeah.